Hi, we're the Halflingers. I'm Pippa. I'm Harry. That's Kathy, our second foal. That's Emma, our first foal. And this is Zoe. We were bought by Stepping Out Stables with Zoe, sorry, with Emma. And then we actually, I was actually pregnant with Kathy at the time. Anyway, after I'd given birth, the barn that Stepping Out Stables got us from wanted us back, but not our foals. So they basically bribed Stepping Out Stables to let us be taken back by them by giving them a load of money and money for a foster or surrogate for the two foals. So that's how we went. Then Zoe arrived. Yep, I did. I was here to look after both the foals. I didn't really like them at first, just because, you know, you're never really told that you're going to be a surrogate horse. You're just, or a mum to any, like, not actually a mum to foals. You you just kind of naturally think you're going to give birth to a few yourself. But anyway, so yeah, I have, so I had to look after these two girls, who I've grown very fond of now. But then due to hard times by the barn again, um... Kathy actually went because she was young and cute. So that's her story gone. But now it's just me and Emma and we're getting on fine and it's great. Hi, I'm Alex and this is my foal Charlie. We were relatively new to the barn and we've been sold because when the barn came to many shortages again, um, some people thought we had great potential so it snapped us up. So... We've been and gone, guys. I'm sorry you'll never probably hear of us in this barn again. Um, it was very, it was a fleeting, very fleeting time we had here, but we loved it. Um, sorry you've never really got to see much of us. <laughs> Apologies. Hi, I'm Monica, and this is my yearling Michael. Hey. Basically, Michael was brought to the barn being wild, so he got caught and brought here um, for a programme sort of thing to train them to be domestics anyway then a couple years later i got caught and came here too but i was at another barn barn before i came here anyway a couple weeks after we realized michael was actually my yearling he left um for unexpected reasons we didn't expect him to ever leave to be honest um yeah lee just sold him because a lot of money was going to come his way if he did so so i got left here um, we unfortunately never ran into Alec, my partner, um, here, but we hope we'll meet him someday, don't we, Michael? Yes, we do. So, that's our story, so, yeah, well, like Alex and Charlie, we've also been and gone without have, not having much input on this barn, but I hope it continues to flourish. Thanks for listening to us. Hi, I'm Margot, and I'm a quarter horse mare. Hi, I'm Ross, and I'm a quarter horse stallion. I got sold due to the first bout of many shortages, shortages stepping out stable saw. Um, and I'm Ross and I got sold to the second bout of shortages. Basically, a couple of us came here really unruly and frankly quite horrible temperament-wise. Uh, anyway, they trained us back up and made us good again. Um, so I was actually friendly enough to get sold. So, yeah, the court horses at stepping out stables are no longer for a while. But we've. I hope you've enjoyed seeing us around, even though we haven't really talked much. Well, Margot has. I haven't really had a huge part. But thanks. Thanks. Hi, I'm the Shire Mayor called Fleur. Hi, I'm the Shire Stallion called Richard. This is our foal, Nick. And I'm Oscar, the Shire Stallion, and this is my son, Nathan. Basically, I got sold... Well, we all got sold a while ago. We... Were, we were owned by the blacksmith who just who just loved this barn more than his like he loved his horses but he wanted the barn to stay more so than his horses as he felt like he was having so many heavy horses here was really dragging the barn down so me Richard and Nick all got sold to various to the same barn actually which was really good anyway so, yeah, about a couple of years later, the barn actually invested back in some shires, so hence why we're here. We are just owned by the barn, we don't really have an owner, but um, we enjoy it here. Hi, I'm Ricky and I'm the Camargue Stallion. Hi, I'm Champagne and I'm the Camargue Mare. This is Brandy, my foal. Hi, I'm Rosa, I'm the Camargue Mare and this is my foal, Bailey. 
So the story started, the story started a while ago. It was me and Papa, back, right back then. We were all wild horses together pretty much. We'd kind of escaped out of our stable and had an adventure. Anyway, I was preg pregnant with this one. When we got in, when, then we arrived at the barn. A couple months l later, Ricky arrived with Rosa. And we actually figured out, and I realised that he was actually the father of Brandy here. Yes. And then, haha, <laughs> because of money shortages, Champagne and Brandy had to leave us. So that finally left me, let me be alone with Ricky again, which was very nice. Yep. Um, so, yep, then we had Bailey, our foal, who we love. But then, unfortunately, Rosa had to be sold due to the second bout of money shortages. So I'm guessing I'm quite unlucky in women when it comes to barns needing money. Um, but I've still got Bailey. Yep, you do. So, yeah, <laughs> that's us.